My curse has never been this powerful before. I have never had a script become invalid before I recorded it until now. I spent hours yesterday writing down my thoughts on the leaks and the pipeline announcements that I missed last time. And lo and behold, the very next day, they showed off all of the pipeline stuff I was theorizing about, as well as we get better images of other things. And just holy crap, I gotta start all over again. Thanks to the usual suspects, now let's throw my old script in the trash and start over. I should have seen all of this coming, honestly, because this just happened to me already last week when I did my news amends on the Missing Link Bumblebee, only to have high-quality pictures of it come out while the video was waiting to release. And that's the Missing Link, huh? And it's 40 bucks. Wow. No. Maybe if it was 40 bucks for this and Cliff Jumper, but no, it's 40 bucks per figure. This is four times the cost of a core class, and it looks to have significantly worse posing than one. Hasbro, Takara, you are abusing the novelty of this, and if this is what it's going to be like, then the novelty is going to quickly wear off. This is now going to be the only third-party figure that I talk about in this video, when I was going to cover more of them originally. But I think he's too important to cut so I can make room for other stuff. Because while Haztac may be abusing the novelty of it, third-party has already realized the value of the Missing Link, and they have, as always, decided to do it better. Bingo Toys Missing Link Grimlock is taking the original Grimlock, a figure that caused me no end of disappointment when I got it after a lifetime of pining, and is turning it into the figure that I always thought it would be. The head position is fixed, the articulation looks to be higher than even the official Optimus, and it is styling on the Bumblebee, obviously. A lot of this is still clearly in the 3D printed prototype stage based on the texture of most of the plastics, so don't expect this thing for a while, they just want us to know that they have seen which way the winds are blowing and that they are working on it. 50 bucks says that they're gonna be charging less for this stuff than Takara does. Then let's talk about the absolute firestorm I blundered my way into over the weekend. So the figure that has been internally referred to by Hasbro as Leader Class Thundertron leaked. It is in a leader box, but nowhere on the box is it directly referred to as a leader. However, because Hasbro internally referred to this as a leader, and it comes in the normal leader box and not the traditional multi-pack box, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it counts as a leader. It is just the same figure as the Voyager with a new head, a new hand, the loss of a foot accessory, and two completely and utterly random pack-in figures. Not characters he is known to hang out with, not figures that fit him aesthetically, not characters that are known to be pirates, a retool of Rock Lord Magnius, and a retool of Siege Ratbat. So I saw this, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna go to Twitter and say the same thing that everyone else is obviously going to be saying about this. So I went to the site from hell, and I called this a joke. At which point I discovered that was like throwing people's dogs into a wood chipper in front of them. I am no longer known as the guy who doesn't like Earthrise. I am no longer known as the guy who doesn't like Cryotech. I am now known as the guy who doesn't like this piece of shit. In a single day, that tweet got over 40,000 views. It now has 70,000, and is the most widely seen thing I have ever put out on any social media, YouTube included. And I had people wishing death on me for daring to have the temerity to not love this rancid piece of ass rot. We are talking about toys, people. I don't say this often, but fucking go touch grass if you think someone disliking a toy that you've never handled is a reason to want them dead. Holy shit, why is this the stupid hill that people decided to die on? Thundertron was a bad Voyager. It posed good, but the accuracy was remarkably low, the transformation was horrifically bad, it is the antithesis of fun and satisfying, and the alt load is violently unfinished, full of holes, and it looks like trash. And they took that, slapped two completely random pack-in figures with it, and called it a leader. And people told me, so many times, just don't buy it, bro. That's not the problem. The problem is this is watering down leader class. Leader class can now mean repack of a couple months old bad Voyager with a repack of a mid deluxe with a repack of half of a mid legends box. Oh, I completely understand why the horrible purple triangle man went too far this time and deserves death. People also were like, that's what Siege Shockwave and Coronation Starscream were like. And are you sure about that? Are you sure? The Starscream was indeed a repack of a figure that had come out over a year ago, not just a few months ago, but Shockwave sure wasn't, and both were filled to the brim with accessories that you could not only get nowhere else, but were directly linked to them. The chair was more a Megatron thing, but you also know that Starscream coveted it like no one's business, and he was visible next to it in the episode it appeared in. This has a random deluxe that was only okay, whose only qualification seems to be it's currently in active production at Hasbro, and a Ratbat repaint, a figure that is half of a two-pack that has nothing to do with Thundertron. People are defending this as a good deal. No, it's not a good deal, it's a good value. It is cheaper than if you bought each one of these figures on their own at normal retail price and don't wait for clearance sales. Unfortunately, the figure making up over half the box's price isn't worth having, and the whole thing paves the way for Leader Soundwave to just be a repack, with more accessories than normal. This is the enshittification of Leader Class. People eventually came to me and told me that I had a point about Earthrise, and it will happen again here, because we are already seeing what this means later in this video. You may love saving the money and getting these figures, but it is the canary in the coal mine, and Twitter is angry at me for noticing that it's dead. And all I have to say is thank God for you guys here, because unlike Twitter, you are all awesome, and you all make doing what I do worth it. And look, I have a friend who if he has two things in this universe that he loves, they are trains, pirates, and Gundam. So if there's one thing in this universe that he loves, it's Thundertron. And even he thinks this is a giant piece of shit. So there are zero things in this universe that he loves. 
All right, then, I was going to talk about the pipeline stuff, and Sealjaw was going to be in there, but last night, a leak of his box happened, so I was going to have to rewrite the script to include that part now, and then in the morning, they just revealed him entirely. So what I have to say about this is, this is what core class has been reduced to, is it? A brick that turns into a brick. There is, like, no articulation on this thing, and I wouldn't have an issue with that if it came with a second cassette. Instead, it's coming with a single one of Blaster's hand speakers. So if you want both of those, spend another 10 bucks after this on whatever the next overpriced accessory class figure sold as a core class is. 86 Bumblebee was much the same, except last night we got a description of what he was going to look like, and based on that, I was going to theorize that this was just going to be an even more direct MP retool. Then they showed it off before I woke up today, and I think the term is oof. That's a little rough. Yeah, based on what I am seeing here with the really twiggy thighs that he never had in the show, I'd be willing to bet that this is a simplification of the Masterpiece 1.0 that drops the pretext of, it's not just that, we cut it in half, glued the ass to the head, and added parts forming. It's totally a new thing. There are horrible panel lines all over the alt mode, but I do think this could still be fun. It's just not the cleanest looking. And I'm sure that this will be better than the Cliff Jumpy R and the Bumbler. Even with some of the jank, it has better proportions, and I'm sure it will be more fun. Now for the stuff that I didn't get a cascade of information about that made me change my plans like three times each. These guys only made me change them once. The Decepticon Soldier. Oh fuck, that's a barricade retool. One of the worst figures Hasbro has put out in like 30 years. But don't worry guys, this time it's... uglier! Who's ready for a figure of a literal non-character who's incapable of posing to an obscene degree, transforms like ass, and has an alt mode that looks like... that? Who looked at barricade and thought to themselves, yeah, this is okay to sell once? You thought I was gonna say twice, but no, this thing wasn't even okay once. Then there's the extreme disappointment of the 86 Springer, who's barely a retool of the Siege one, his shoulder pads rotate, he has a new head, his chest sits a little dumpier, and he's got way worse colors. Maybe they fixed the knees, but the only thing that can make me buy this is if they got rid of those side panels that have no reason to exist and love to pop off. Or to review it for you guys. The Siege one wasn't terrible, but it wasn't something I wanted a slightly modified version of. Then there's the sky warp of the Bumblebee Seekers. It has taken them way too long to do this, so I have long since stopped caring, but the mold is fine. If you're a completist, then here you go. Then there's the Straxus, who we knew was going to be a Galvatron retool, and for some reason people were really unhappy about that. Why? He's always been similarly built to Galvatron, and he's always had a similar alt mode to Galvatron. This is not the best retool of him to Straxus I've ever seen, but why is this the one thing in this video where other people are like, fuck this? And I'm the one who's like, this looks pretty good. I'm not just a contrarian, I swear. I don't know why every time I expect something to be exactly what it turns out to be and am looking forward to it, other people hate it, and then when I hate something, everyone else tells me I'm crazy. The one bad thing I have to say about this is the chest and shoulders are a little weird, but I will happily pick this up. Then there are the all-new pipeline reveals, and boy am I not excited for most of these. To be fair, that's because they're like 90% just repaints. So Core Class Energon Megatron is getting repainted into Galvatron. The figure was bad in the first place, but at least the paint job will make more sense now. Then we're getting a Boulder Crash repaint that for the first time ever looks like a figure that would be named Boulder Crash. For some reason, they played really coy on the stream if this was a guy or girl. Then there's Quake, and thanks to Evolve for pointing this out. This seems to be a Skullgrin retool going by the chest, the lower legs, and the forearms, but coming with Needle Nose's Target Masters. There had better be some serious retooling going on here, because the no real alt mode thing only worked with Skullgrin when people figured out a decent fan mode for him, which will not work with Quake given the fact that it would have a normal dude's head sticking out of the front. Hasbro, you had better not turn this into a piece of farming equipment with a rocket launcher taped to the back. Then there's Slipstream. By virtue of not having the legacy Windblade head, this will avoid being one of the most hideous figures of all time, but I am not optimistic about this thing. The giant stupid boots always looked terrible, and the bad alt mode leaves me concerned. And even with the better face, this thing is still going to be awkward looking. Then, amazingly, really demonstrating just how much faith people have in the way the winds are blowing, Hasbro is doing We Have Missing Link Optimus at home. Yep, if you couldn't afford the true blue Missing Link one, they are doing a version of that at deluxe scale. Which, you know what? As redundant as this is, I'm totally here for. This will probably pose better than the actual Missing Link one, which is stuck with some ancient engineering. This is fun and unexpected. They're doing a repaint of the ruination of the Kingdom Cyclonus mold Metal Hawk. I like how when I first reacted to the old announcement of this thing, I was like, this looks like it's going to be bad. Then people got up in arms and called me a hater. Then the figure came out and no one suddenly wanted to talk about it. And when I finally did get around to reviewing it and said, it's pretty bad, everyone's response was like, yeah, this thing kind of sucks. There is such a depressing pattern of, I make an accurate prediction that I think is obvious, people get mad at me, then I turn out to be right, and everyone agrees with what I said from the start. If people can't have faith in me, then can they just please exercise some chill? Motormaster retool of the animated Optimus Prime. I've yet to review it, but it's a good figure. This will be a fun retool. Armada Galvatron, another good figure, though I like these colors way less than the normal ones, so I'm not interested, but if you want this version, you will be really happy. And lastly, it has been amazing to see such a short turnaround on this one, but after the announcement of Leader Class Soundwave, I actually had a few people come to me and apologize, going, okay, so this is what you meant with Legacy Thundertron. Because they have flat out stated in their announcement of this, Leader Class Soundwave is the Netflix Earthrise version with one extra cassette it didn't come with before. Let me repeat that. It is the same thing. They already sold us. That wasn't good in the first place. People were just starved for an Earth Mode Soundwave. That has gone from two cassettes to three, 15 more dollars, and it was overpriced to begin with. Netflix Soundwave was a shitty, lower quality version of the Siege figure, with the wrong, ugliest arms possible, a less satisfying transformation, and a knobbly, gappy alt mode. 
Kingdom Blaster got 10 times the respect that this thing did, but they're just repacking it, giving it one more cassette, and calling it a leader. Coronation Starscream has been my punching bag for a long time. That was bullshit, but at least it came with a chair as big as the figure and a semi-postable cape as well as all the other crap it came with. This is Hasbro, selling us the same thing again, but for $15 more for the privilege, when it was $10 too much originally, and was bad from the jump. Soundwave deserves more respect than this. We deserve more respect than this, and if we just keep buying stuff, no matter what it is, because we should be grateful to get anything at all, then they will gladly sell us less and less and less for more and more and more. Side with yourselves, side with your own money, and don't just jump to defend the multi-billion dollar corporation. Also, amazing how they're using the core class artwork. What are the chances that they're doing that so they can hide the fact that the arms still have the landing gears on them? And before we go, let's thank one of my patrons, and a general wider thank you to all of my actual subscribers. We may butt heads on occasion, but I am so glad to have found so many people who appreciate the fact that we can disagree and still like each other. I never want to preach to the choir. If I do, I will have done something wrong and gotten somewhere I don't want to be, but you all make what I do here so worthwhile and fill my soul with so much happiness. But I will fight every last one of you to the death that Thundertron is a piece of shit. And this time it's... Zoidus, whose favorite figure of all time is 2007 Stockade, who, I'll admit, is a movie figure that kind of looks cool. He's kibble-heavy, but the blue paint is tasty, and he's quite the bruiser. Plus, I can make decent sense of his body layout. I'm sure that this is kind of clunky as an 07 toy, but it looks like the enjoyable sort of clunk. Anyways, that's not half what I have to say, but it's enough what I have to say. And I know, you know, what everyone else tells you to do at the end of these videos. So, if you liked what you saw here, please do that. And if you'd like to take it a step further, then please, share this video with any friend you think may be interested. I hope you all enjoyed listening to me waste your time.